Hello, and welcome back to Fortune Summoners! Once again, it's been about a week, maybe more? I can't even remember when I last recorded the last videos of Fortune Summoners. Not that if it, uh, it affects you in any way, but since the last episode, well, the reason I haven't been recording this series is because I had my hands full with finishing up Lily. Lily is now done. And I started a new series called The Sun at Night, a sort of 2D Metroidvania platform thing. Check it out if you want to, though I haven't gotten into, like, any actual gameplay yet. I've only been talking for the first four episodes or something like that. But anyways, that series made me realize something that has been a problem that I haven't noticed in this series, so hopefully you'll be able to tell a difference. You might have noticed that I re-uploaded uh, three episodes, yeah, three episodes, the last three episodes, all got re-rendered, recompressed, re-uploaded, that took quite a while, and the reason was, for some reason, I record these at 60 FPS with OBS, but for some reason, Sony Vegas thinks that this footage is 120 FPS instead of 60, but then it's like, Oh, wait, you're missing some frames, let me fix that for you. And it duplicates frames and makes these weird ghost frames where if I, for example, would jump like this, you if you paused the, uh, or maybe the, even more so the scrolling of the, uh, the background, if you paused while the screen was scrolling, you could see sort of two frames overlaid on top of each other. And that's really annoying. I had that happen in They Bleed, they Bleed Pixels and other series, but that was intentional. That was because I wanted to have a smoother 30 FPS thing. But now, I don't want it because I'm doing 60 FPS and I'm not even recording in 120 FPS to begin with. So that was just a problem. I think I fixed it now. I have to sort of tell it to only use half the frames or whatever. So if you notice any difference when, when I'm running around or whatever, it might actually look a little bit choppier, it might not look smoother, but it should look way crisper, because in any situation when I'm moving like this, it hopefully won't look blurry. It might have looked a bit blurry, and I thought that was just because, you know, I'm upscaling a 640x480 window into 720p, so I thought that was it, but I think that's actually, that should be gone now, so that's, I'm not asleep, alright. Going into it right away. Uh, well, not right away, because I had that stupidly long intro, but anyways, just getting into the battle right away. But not right away, sorry, I'm scatterbrained. Um, but yeah, you should be able to tell a difference, hopefully. Should be a little crisper. All the uh, imagery and stuff, let me know if you can tell a difference or not. Or if you maybe preferred the way Vegas was screwing with the videos, you shouldn't. And even if you do, I'm not going to do it that way, so screw you. That one guy who would say, I like the blurriness. But yeah, time to just head to tonkiness and or... Yeah, here we go. I figured when we get to the crossroads, things are going to happen, because Stella needs to go left and I need to go right to get to tonkiness. It's evening already? Time really flew. The setting sun is so pretty. Oh, hi guys. Yo, Arch. Uh, wait, why is Stella with you? Oh, what? Do you want to dictate where I can and cannot be, Colm? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean like that. Maybe he has a thing for Stella, who knows. Hey, Colm, did you get into Weather Rain Tower? Don't ask. We tried everything. Everything, but without the key, there is no way into that tower. Really? Ah. So how about you? What have you been up to all day? Well, I got another crest. Another crest? Where the heck did you... Hmm, <laughs> hmm, or something. That's a secret. No friggin' fair. You left us standing outside that the tower like idiots and got another crest. What? There's nothing unfair about it. Or about it. Ah, whatever. Guys, come on, we're going home. Right. Arch, Stella, see you tomorrow. Bye! Please don't leave me, Stella. Do I want to ask what they were doing? Good question. Well, 
I must return to Chartru, so this is where we part. Stella, thanks for everything today. Why are you thanking me? I didn't do anything except be violent to you. But... Arch, look! There's someone over there! Oh, it's the witch. Huh? It's... it's not the witch. It's the witch! Oh no! Hey, it's Dr. Barnard. Ah, you're Sauna's friend, if I remember right. What are you do doing out here, Dr. Barnard? Truth be told, we have something of a problem. Sauna has cancer, she's dying. I told you, I told you she's dying. A problem? Wait, is something wrong with Sauna? In a way, the topa herb I need to lower her fever still hasn't been delivered. As a result, Sauna's fever has gotten quite severe. Sauna is... No! I came out here to see the herbalist personally and find out what the devil is causing the delay. But these old legs aren't what they used to be. I just can't go any further. No, no, D Dr. Barnard, let me go. I'll go see what's happening. That would be great help. The herbalist's in the first house from the village gate. Okay. All right, then. The herb is in your hands. I'll return to Tonkinus to watch over Sauna. Hurry! I hope Sauna's okay. Me too. Arch, why are we wasting time here? Let's get back to Barness. Huh? Stella, are you coming with us? Yes! I didn't want Stella to leave, because this is OP having two people at once. What kind of a failure of a human being would I be if I heard that and just walked away? Come on. Yeah! Yeah! So what happens if I just don't do that now? If I just, like, leave and go back to... Oh dear. Nope. I'm dead. Help! Go get him, Stella, you can do it! Protect me! He's actually pro Ow. Never mind. There we go. So, before we go to Tonkinus, I'm actually gonna go to Chartreuse, so this is gonna be once more... I'm oh. Oh, okay, we can't go to Chartreuse, never mind. Hey, where are you going? That's not the way to Barnes. So, I, wa I wanted to go to Chartreuse with, uh with Arch and see if we could get out the other gates and also check that erotic magazine because Stella didn't want to look at it, but maybe Arch does, so that's a thing to note for the future. But for now, I'm just gonna see if we can get back to Tonkiness and maybe visit Stella or uh, Sauna. We probably can, or maybe at the gate they might say, we don't have the herb yet, let's get back to Barnes. We'll see. And he doesn't say anything else. These guys are still talking about their honeymoon or whatever. Or their ceremony, not their honeymoon, but still, they've been talking about that for the entire day. I guess wedding plans take a lot of time, so that's fair enough. Got some honey, that's good. Thirty max. Wait, what? What do you mean thirty max? I've gotten way more with uh, Stella. Is that? Hold on. Oh, I have a message. I didn't even see that. If I check. Uh, oh, I see, yeah, weapon, max max damage dealt with weapon is 30, and with magic is 87. That phoenix thing did a crazy amount of damage. Let's read the message. The medicine's missing? Exclamation mark, question mark, or reverse order. No, the medicine Sana needs to get better hasn't arrived. I need to go to the herbalist in Barnes and see what's wrong. Or she's going to die. So yeah, let's just run around and talk to people. Maybe some someone has something to say. I guess I'll start speeding this up, because until we get to something that's, like, anything at all. Hello, Mom and Dad! Better herb! I can find that! I might even have one! Let's see... Yeah, I got a better herb! Great! Yes, of course! Alright, we have better herbs in stock! Anything else? Honey! I have honey! I just got honey! Great! Here, have some honey! Anything else? Nope, nothing at the moment. Alright, so now we can buy uh, better herbs and... Where's the honey? Where's the honey? 
Didn't he say he had honey in stock? Did he not say that? I didn't quite read it, because I figured it was just the same message. But he actually doesn't have honey. That's weird. I don't know what that's about. Huh. Well, I'll have to check the footage on that one. And maybe it's a bug, maybe it's not in stock until tomorrow or something? Son has fallen ill. Oh dear. That's it. Alright. Let's just go up here and store some stuff, and I'll just keep running around talking to people, as always. I might even go to the, uh, the school, I think. Also, I'm checking if I can actually get any other reactions when you just switch character, but so far it doesn't seem like you can. Well, I can go into the Shrine of the Wind, but there shouldn't be anything else here, so there's no real point. I just wanted to see if there was a uh, cutscene or something where they said, What are you doing in here? I don't even know. Well, yeah, I guess let's just check out this person's house, the uh, class president, and then we'll just check in with Sana, and then I'll just do random stuff for a bit longer. I mean, I just figured... Since I want to be this thorough and talk to everyone all the time, every single time, I should see how she's doing. I think I did read that in a previous episode. But yeah, there's no real point showing me running around, like running all the way to school for no reason, but I still want to do it just in case, because you never know. So I'm gonna be doing that, but that's why I speed things up. Hello again, Dr. Barnard. Did you find any Topa Herb? The Herbalist's house and this the first from the blah, the Barnes village gate. I don't think anything else will bring down bring her fever down. And if we can't do that, she's dead. Ha ha Sana, get better, please. Don't give up, Sana. We need to hurry before this gets even worse. Sure. Sana, please, please don't Oh god, this is very dramatic. Jesus. Can I sneak in here? No I can't. Can I you should probably watch your plots. Your house is going to burn down. But yeah, I'll just run around some more and I'll get back to you. Oh shit, I just realized. Hold on, wait. Hold on, there's a thing for us to do. I'm just going to go to the store storage box, the lockbox, whatever. Oh, these kids weren't here before. Hi. Alright. This guy? No, come back here. I guess these kids are just sort of uh, random, it seems. I can play it. Hold on. And if I switch to Stella? Yeah, she says she doesn't want to. Alright, but we'll wait with those capsule machines until we get back to Chartreux with Arch. Then I'll do it. But the thing I wanted to try was to just withdraw our... These ones. Blue clothes and blue hat. Or... Uh... What's his face again? Uh... What's his name? Shuffle. No, that's not it. Uh... What is it? Again, hold on, let's let's see. I really can't remember. Blue clothes? Chiff and that's it. Yeah. So he just gets blue clothes. Okay, great. And a blue hat. Why not? I don't know if these when you have things equipped, do they still take up slots in your inventory? Maybe, who knows, in which case this is completely pointless, but why not? I'll see if I run into any inventory space issues later on. But yeah, I'll just run to school and see if there's anything there. And some other various stuff. Okay, I guess this is actually new. I hope Sana can come to school tomorrow. And her kid sister says, Hey, Ellie! Let's go play Marin! Great. I'll be back. Yeah, so this is actually a thing. That's kind of interesting. You can just switch characters, and then they might understand things differently. So, I guess you should pretty much swap, swap, swap characters for every single thing that you look at that 
you can't immediately read or look at with arch or whatever. Alright, here we are, back in Barnes. I figured I would just speed up all that traveling as well, because we've already done that several, several times. But, there was something I forgot to do here in Barnes. I actually intended to go and buy the short sword, because I have over 4,000 gold. So I might as well get the short sword, since it was, like, 6 points better, or something like that? Uh, 7 points. Yeah, that's quite a lot of attack, actually. So, why not? Let's get it. And was there anything else? Wooden armor? I have one. Thick leather. I'll wait until we maybe actually get Sauna, potentially. And then I'll probably buy that for her, if she can actually wear it. Um, this one... I don't really see the point of. Oh well. Alright. Nothing. Oh, and let's just go quickly and... I guess we're going this way anyways. Let's go and buy some... Where was that? Yeah, the, the fresh milk. The fre oh no, the fresh milk girl is gone! I guess it's too late for her. So, yeah. Have to make do without fresh milk for now. Hello, Mr. Herbalist man! Mr. Herbalist! He she actually said that. What's going on? Dr. Barnard needs a topa herb. I'll take it to him, so please, please give me one. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I can't send topa herbs to anyone right now. Huh? Why? The cavern I used to grow herbs to... Herb? What? I used to grow herbs is suffering from a monster infest infestation right now. It's too dangerous to go get any herbs. At all. As things stand. Monsters? What? Did it never cross your mind to contact the guard about this? Of course I did. The earliest they can get here is tomorrow, though. And that's iffy. But, but, that's too late. Mister, my friend's gonna... She's really sick and needs the herbs. Or the herbs. I understand that, but... Wait, where do you grow, grow the herbs? The cavern is just out the door, to the right there. Oh, and it was locked before, okay. Okay then, we'll go get the topa herb ourselves. What? Are you sure? It's dangerous in there right now. Leave it to us. Well, alright then, do your best, girls. Thank you. A prepared topa herb should be in a chest at the back of the cave. Cave, good luck. That's okay. Thank you for the information. I'm just gonna quickly go and save, and then we'll head in there, just so I don't lose any... Oh, also, yeah, healing Stella, because she's quite low. I didn't even pay attention to that. I need to pay attention to her health more from now on. Because, yeah, I've already recorded for quite a while, but with all the uh, speedy upness, it's probably not going to be very long, so... It, this shouldn't be too long, like, how, how long or how deep can this cave really be when you think about it? Surely it's not some giant dungeon. I guess we'll find out. So, if it is giant, then I guess I'll have to finish up next time, maybe. We'll see. Herb Farm Cave. And I'm just gonna smash all of his herbs. And I imagine I want to push this crate to the right and not smash it. Oh, there's... Oh, I see. I want to smash it. I want to smash all of these and then push the uh, tower here to the right. That's what. Yeah, I didn't even realize this was a tower you could push. That's not how physics work, but oh well. There we go. Can I even jump up this now? I can't. Okay, so... Wait, so what? But the... But the crate just dis got destroyed when it landed on the thing, didn't it? Maybe if Stella is, like, on the other side? Was that it? If I do it like this? No, it just... It's just... Oh! 
Oh, I see, this is clever. Yeah, I like this. So I need to have Stella stand up here from this point and then have her not move position. So anchor, and then I use Arch to push this whole contraption with Stella on it, and then she can jump up and probably, I don't even know, get the herb. Maybe it's... No, it can't be already done because we haven't even fought any monsters yet. But yeah, so I can't jump up this, but now Stella can proceed. And that just brings Arch here for some reason. Uh, let me quickly make her not anchored again, because that would be kind of a problem. Alright, so far so good. Yeah, I'm really, really liking having two people here. It's so much easier to fight everything. Alright, some raccoons or squirrels, whatever I decided to call them in here. Yeah, so good, so good. I can't state this enough, it's just ridiculous how how easy things get when you have two people. Especially when the AI is taking care of what Stella is doing. I'm gonna go this way first. I imagine this is probably a dead end. That's usually how these things go. Maybe not, though. We'll see. Oh, damn it. Is that a new Max? Maybe? Ow. Ow. Is that the herb, maybe, already? Did we get it? Can I open it here? Oh no, it's not the herb. Okay, um, quick deal. Can I, like, get out of battle so I do it quicker? No, I can't. Anyways, at least it was only me getting, getting poisoned and not Stella. Wow, 103. That phoenix is really powerful. Yeah, that's very good. Oh, whoops. There we go. So maybe it was the other way that was a dead end. I'm just gonna go in this door again, and we'll just go in all the doors, and then we'll check out the other paths later on. Oh my god, there's so many doors. This is- oh, new monster! Giant mushroom dude. He wasn't a problem. I didn't even get to see what he was called. He didn't read. Well, oh, good job, Stella. Let's get this before it disappears. Sweet mushroom! Great! So yeah, this might actually be a massive dungeon. Oddly enough, this guy just grows his herbs in, like, the biggest cave system in the world. Oh wow, good job, Stella. I see, of course, the mushroom has spores, which, uh, sleep you. That's always the case in games like this. Oh, okay. Oh, I see, and this is a moon switch, so I don't want to do this. Well, I guess I can do it. I don't know if uh, this is persistent, though. Like, if I if I go somewhere else, is this still going to remain pushed? I don't think so, but we'll try. What are you doing? What the hell? What was that? I think she tried to, like, duck away from the block for some reason. I don't even know. So yeah, now this is open. I guess I'll check it out if it's just maybe a dead end. It could be. Oh, no, it's not a dead end. There's another... God damn it, it's not getting hit. There is another path here. I guess I'll take it. Let's go here. This is probably the right way, but I guess I can deal with the, the side paths later on. Oh, don't sleep me. Thank you. Don't do that. Stop being annoying. Yeah, I guess you gotta be very aggressive towards those mushrooms, because otherwise they will just sleep you over and over. Oh man, this is really convoluted already. Here's another one, a uh, scale lock. Okay. Just gonna keep going where I'm going, I'm not gonna go right there. Jesus, this is... Oh, what's that on the wall? It looks like some slots or something, but I don't think it's anything. Oh, two of these. That's bad. 
tricked you. Don't sleep me. Somehow I didn't fall asleep. That's good. Alright. Good enough. Another switch here, maybe. Yeah, what is... Oh, I see. Just like this. There we go. So I'm just gonna go into this scale thing right away. And we'll see if I maybe just happen to... What? Oh, I see. There's more than one, of course. So in this screen, there's probably like three that you have to light or something like that. And then you can go that way. But I think... I think I'm gonna have to... Actually, I don't have to go back to save, because I'm probably gonna record another episode right away anyway, so I could just keep going in the dungeon. Oh, I don't have my sword equipped. Even though I would prefer to save and quit, it doesn't really matter. Oh, stop! Oh, Jesus! Okay, so that's ground pound, it's like their down stab. So you gotta be careful about that, you can't block that attack. Let's just heal up here. Yep, here's another one. Maybe I can quickly just find the last one, and then we'll end it there. As I've said, it's very hard to time these episodes when you do lots of time editing and stuff. Oh, come on! Here we go! Good job! Yeah, the Phoenix, one of my favorite spells so far. Definitely. It's very versatile, very powerful, and just overall fantastic. I probably need some more healing items soon though, because I didn't get to buy any fresh milk. There's probably not too much left for me to use. There we go, in the distance you can hear the sound of machinery activating. So there we go, I think I'm gonna end it there, and we'll just keep going down this route, and then I'll check out those side paths. Probably on the way back, maybe. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're back. Well, I mean, I never left on your end, but I'm back. Hooray! In the game. And, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.